Cinco Club. Shame is delicious. Hello, welcome to Shame is Delicious with me, Darren Harriet, and me, Ishan Akbar. This podcast all about shame, 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 shame. I'm full of shame. However, I am utterly shameless because I am a grown adult. That's when you're supposed to feel shame when you're an adult. No. You don't feel shame as a kid because you're a kid. Of course you feel shame as a kid. You don't feel shame as a kid. Everyone feels shame as a kid. Well, you get embarrassed, but I don't know if it's that shame. shame. Yeah, but you don't really feel like... Sorry, when you shit yourself in chemistry... I shit myself when I was a kid. Uh, When I was about six, shit myself at school. (laughs) Shit went down my trousers, came up my shoe. Like, sorry, went down my trousers, came up the bottom of my... Uh, yeah, did you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Was was it right down like... Was, a, like was it a wet shit? No, it was a hard shit. That's why it went straight down. Oh. Yeah. Hard solid. It looked like the way the cartels pass drugs through pipes. <laughs> Just Steve there McQueen. There bags of the shit too. <laughs> that was how it went straight up down there, yeah. And then uh, the teacher called my mum to come and get me. That's, that's how you know it was a bad shit when they, they have to get your mum to come around. Yeah. And my mum came around and she brought... A, a fresh pair of pants yeah. uh, and toilet roll, as if there's no toilet roll in the school. Yeah. But you put it in one of those like evidence see through bags and just held it up. Yeah, I was pretty bad. Were you not embarrassed then? Were you not, were you not, do you not feel shame? I feel shame now. Oh, over that incident. I feel worse about it now. Oh, okay. Like, sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because if, if my kid did that, if I have a kid and my kid does that, I'm yeah. just leaving him there. If your kid did that, I'd laugh at it. You'd laugh at my kid shit. Yeah. Why? Just because I think it's, that's the way to make them grow stronger. Okay. But I, I'd feel like I haven't potty trained my kid properly. Is that what they do with kids now? Potty train? We don't know. We have kids. They were potty train kids. Oh, I wanted to get one of those squatty potties. What are those? So, you know, when you, you put the, your feet up. Put your feet up like that, yeah. Because you know when we shit, we're not shitting correctly. Islam has said this. Has it? How? You know, because you squat in yeah. South Asian countries and East Asian countries. But are you squatting on a toilet? What, the hole in the floor? Oh, is that the hole in... Oh, is that the toilet? Yeah. Yeah, technically. Okay, that's probably going to align your body. Yeah, so Islamically, Quranically, they say, you know, squatting is the best way to pass your stools and urinate. You guys must have great quads. All that My squ- quads are insane. All that, all that squatting. Yeah, because I don't sit on the toilet. What? I squat on my toilet. You don't put your butt cheeks on the toilet seat? No. Oh, no. Oh, I do that. Disgusting. Oh. I put my feet on the toilet seat. You do, no. not, put, you do not put your feet on the toilet seat. You don't put your feet we on the toilet seat. We are not believing you put your feet on the toilet seat. I'm not having this. You're not doing an aerobics doo-doo. <laughs> Stop lying. I put my... You go into your... <laughs> no. I've got a lower toilet so I can put my feet on the toilet seat. What are you put? Are you putting bare feet on a toilet seat? No, I've got bathroom slippers. You've, no. I'm, oh, and you believe this? Bathroom flip-flops. The, the fact that you've said you've got a lower yeah. toilet. Okay, I could believe that you've got one that's specifically for that. But you ain't yeah. walking into like a public loo and putting your feet on the... Well, I, I basically... You are too big and heavy to be squatting I've, with your feet. Do you feet. know what? This What's it thing? made out of? Titanium. I've actually... No, no. I, I, you're right. I'm big and heavy. But when you squat from a young age... Yeah. Your, your body adjusts. I don't... So be- I'm able to squat for ages. Okay. You need a toilet, desperate. Yeah. You, you've got like the runs. Yeah. The only toilet is a McDonald's toilet. Yeah. You're going in there and you're squatting on the McDonald's. I'm toilet. squatting. I'm not putting my bum. My I'm not, my ass is not touching the seat. Why is your Why is it not touching the seat? It's disgusting. Yeah, it is disgusting. Do you know but... how much AIDS and cum is on that seat? Listen, I don't know what you do on a Saturday, but I I've never. I mean, I I can't see AIDS, <laughs> but I I don't think there is AIDS. Cum and blood is on that seat. Okay. And I'm not touching my, it's not touching my ass. I'm then. I, I, I don't believe you. I mean, you wouldn't even put toilet, toilet paper around the seat. No! Oh! You're trying to make me and Owen to- look like savages. Toilet paper does, doesn't stop it seeping through, does it? But how wet a toilet seat do you think they are? Even if it's dry, the bacteria actually clings to the toilet paper and then clings into your asshole. You need help. No, you need help. I'm not squatting. I Hell squat no, dude. in public toilets too. Nah. Not like... feet up on the toilet seat, unfortunately, because I can't, because I slip around. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining you 
you trying to put me? Yeah, I've have tried. you, hang on, hang on. So you have you ever tried to do it and your foot's gone in the toilet? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I I squat. So yeah. You're gonna love Glastonbury. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Oh yeah, yeah. I basically have a skiing position on public toilets. Yeah, yeah. You look like you're about to I'm get skiing. a dismount. Yeah. Yeah, nah, it's, it's all. It's all not for me that I will put my ass, bare ass on there. No, not put my bare my, ass on my, the Listen, toilets. my ass is like a World War vet. It can do, yeah. it can do with anything. I am not touching any toilet seats, thank you. But you touch toilet door handles. No. I don't like that. I don't touch toilet door People handles. wash their hands and they go and touch the same door handle. I, don't touch, I never touch toilet door it's handles. full of peace. I try and, if I can, push it with my shoulder. That's fine. Yeah, but you're a guy who eats uh, peanuts in a pub. I eat peanuts in the pub. Yeah. No, only if they're in jars already and they use a scooper. I asked them if they do that. I wouldn't even trust that. How many drunken people are going, oh, I get a scooper and a... I'm like a, a pick very, and mix? No, they're going right in there. I'm a very hygienic person. I don't know. Not something you associate with fat people. No, fat people can be clean. Yeah. I bet Lizzo's pretty clean. Yeah, Lizzo's clean. With a tiny flute. I feel like Lizzo's cleaned. Clean, oh, cleaned. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you think that she's sort of like hums a, down? Yeah, it's old car washes. She's got... <laughs> <laughs> I like Lizzo. I like Lizzo too. I don't, I'm not a fan of her music. I don't know any of her views. Yeah. I just like the fact that she was... So what do you like her for then? <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that she had a few albums before she made it. So it's yeah. not like she came out the bloom. She was already like trying to make it, and I respect that. I also like the fact that all of her dancers are fat. All of her dancers are fat. Yeah. Her, I thought you said all of her dancers are fat. And I was like, what is, what is a fat, what is a fat no, dance? No, no, no. Fat with a PH. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we go. There we go. She's, um, yeah, she has all of her backing dancers are all like fat girls. And yeah. I just like the fact that they're just dancing more well, big. Moving. I mean, they, they, I, I would love to see what the backstage is like. Oh, do you think Lizzo has a great green room? Yeah, it must be. Bad. I imagine the snacks because Lizzo's fat and proud. Yeah, so she's not going to be worried about her weight. Yeah, and her backing dancers—that is actually their like USPs at the yeah. big girls. Oh, I imagine her green room is great. Yeah, must probably be has rooms. party rings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, uh? Party rings are. You don't like party rings? No. No, party rings are dope. Nah. Oh, I love a party ring. I prefer pink wafers. N no, over party rings. Yeah. What? Who knew? Owen. Yeah. Deciding vote. Okay. Party rings or pink wafers? Pink wafers. Thank you. The... Weird. You guys are. Party rings are great. They're vegan as well. Are they? No, I don't know. Made it all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Maybe. Why yeah. not? Just make some claims. Remember, everybody kept saying that about Oreos. Don't like Oreos. I like the white Oreos. Of course you do. <laughs> You're wearing the color right now. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Come on. Also, white women. Um, <laughs> what? I came out of nowhere. I'm what the fuck? He just. <laughs> Do you know what? That should be like one of your nervous ticks, or just a tick. Every so often, apropos nothing, you just go. Also, white women. <laughs> yeah. Can oh. I? Can I have? A, can I have? A, can I have a chicken and rice, please, boss? Also, white women. <laughs> the setup was more racist then. Chicken and rice of all the pepes. Yeah, I know, but still, because I'm black, I still get nervous when you say chicken and rice. It sounds racist. Even though... Why would you get nervous? You should be like, oh! Even though... Hallelujah! You know, chicken you know, and rice, baby! You know, it's, it annoys me to say this, but in my suitcase, I have chicken and rice. <laughs> I mean... In your suitcase? Well, I've got food to eat on the train. Is it Pepe chicken and rice? No. Is no, it, I don't... Sorry, is it, is it a Tupperware? Yeah, Tupperware, yeah. I'm black. Oh, right, you haven't just thrown it in. <laughs> Well, you thought I put loose rice and chicken in a suitcase? Yeah. How ghetto do you think a I am? A suitcase full of rice and chicken. <laughs> okay. Suitcase full of rice. I haven't, got your, I haven't got your cash, but I do have chicken and rice. By the way, this is one thing I do want to raise on this podcast, and now is a good time to do it because we're quite a few episodes in. What? Do you not feel ashamed of walking around with a suitcase like that everywhere? No, it's a carry, carry on. It's so big. Why would you get a normal that's a tiny, bag? That's a normal carry on suitcase. Yeah, but. 
Why are you wheeling a suitcase everywhere? <laughs> Don't say it like that like I'm a Tory. Yeah, you <laughs> are. Why are you wheeling a suitcase everywhere, man? <laughs> you, are. you are. You're wheeling a suitcase everywhere. I like carrying a suitcase because I have to put on my... Um... But why don't you have a... Like a, like a I haven't, I haven't a brought a backpack. I can't find a nice... I know what you mean. I, I can't find a nice enough backpack. So normally when I bring stuff up, it's just easier to put it in a suitcase. I've got over. I've got loads of over shoulder bags, but I don't really like them. I need a good backpack, I've, but I haven't quite got one yet. I'm sorry about the admin guys, but this is. I've, I've just bought a really nice backpack. Nordace, loads of little pockets. Yeah, is it because you have clothes in there? Sometimes there's clothes in there. Yeah, to bring it, bring it. Here. So why did you get a hold all as well um, for your clothes, and then a backpack for your chicken and rice? Oh, I don't know. I didn't expect this sort of admin to be done. But I quite like the look. It's a carry-on suitcase. It's nice. It looks worries. ridiculous. You walking around with a suitcase. But people look at me and they see me with it and they go, oh, this guy's an exec, but he's up to something really fun. Why are you laughing? A an exec wearing Yeezys? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, well, uh, you're talking about the ultimate exec, Kanye West. He wears Yeezys. <laughs> but the less said about him. Um, <laughs> no one looks... Darren, can I tell you from the bottom of my heart, all right? Two things. One, I love you. And two, no one looks at you when you're carrying a suitcase and think he's an exec. No one's thinking that. I think that. they look at me and they go, he's a cool guy. I bet he's a boss who pays all of his staff really well and he's on the Forbes rich list. Because it's just, what do you, it's what, a you drag a suitcase up a hill towards Birmingham Moor Street. <laughs> Som sometimes I am in a rush and I do, I, do, I don't use and the wheels. Basically, because it's got wheels on it and he's got a handle. Why are you making The suitcase is just like shaking left and right. It looks ridiculous. Every now and again, I do drop it. I yeah. <laughs> it's, the sound, it's the sound of it dropping. That's so stupid. When I'm like, Darren, you've got so much money now. You're doing well. Why have you got a suitcase like a little pimped up refugee? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Get around. Sometimes when there's an uneven pavement, it does knock and it drops out my hand. And I do feel rather ridiculous picking it back up and walking. Back. Shut up, man. I like my suitcase. I've had it. <laughs> Why are you making me self-conscious about it? I'm going to be walking out. My... You know what? I'm never going to carry it again now. Yeah. That's it. You've killed the suitcase. <laughs> I thought it was easy because it's wheels and I can walk with it, but now I just feel like a dog. What I want for you, because you're a cool guy. And... Exactly. And that's why I think I can pull off the, no, so you the have walking those, suitcase. Right? You <laughs> need a rucksack. And if you have clothes, a hold all. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I, I do have quite a few. I just don't have a rucksack that I like at the minute. I've got like a nice bag. It's quite big though. I might have to start carrying. No, I'm happy with the suitcase. I like it. I liked it. Don't, just, don't be peer pressure, Darren. You do you. You do you, boo. No, well, yeah, I am doing me. And I'm proud. <laughs> okay. Of, I of mean, me. you shouldn't be, but yeah. Do. Doing, I'm proud of doing... So... <laughs> I mean, I could probably get a better style one. Yeah, you can you know get I mean? a better style. I got, it, I got it from Wilkinson, and I got a big one to match as well. I got a See? Pair. What? what? But it's a suitcase! Yeah, but... What? You couldn't get a Samsonite one. Where, where, where would I get that from? Samsonite. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> yeah, I, I could probably do... You know what it is? I've had it for like two years. Yeah. And it, it kind of works. Yeah. But now, yeah, I might... I'll, I'll look for a... I look for a better one. I didn't realize that the fashion guru e Shannon. Yeah. What other what other bits of uh, accessories should I work on? At the moment, that's the main accessory. That Just because you've got your two thousand pound glasses. Eight hundred seventy five pound. Eight hundred seventy five pound glasses. Now you're like, Ugh. yeah. Bleh. What yeah. suitcase do you use when you go on holiday? I've got a suitcase that I use everywhere. It's beautiful. The lovely kind of um, sea green colour. Ooh, fun, like leaves. Yeah, and it's quite, and it's quite, it flattens down quite nicely. No, it doesn't flatten down. Four-way four -way wheels. Four-wheel drive, basically. It's got, it's got four. It's great. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, wow. Well, that's nice, isn't it? And my, my rucksack slides over the top of it if I need to. I can carry both at the same time. I didn't know you had such a beef with my suitcase. I have always had a beef with your suitcase. <laughs> uh, and the fact that you're bringing it up for the first time on this podcast really annoys me. No, I've mentioned it, but you've I mentioned been, you've it. Been wait, you've been waiting. It, what happened was I mentioned it quietly and I was like, do you know what? We've en when you enter kind of the Easter period, you get to that. You know, life begins anew. Things are new. What, now thought, that it's Easter? Yeah. Now that it's Easter, you know, I've had chocolate. Everyone's in a good mood. Big up JC. Yeah. And I thought, you know, we're in British summertime now. Now's the time for me to tell you your suitcase looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> this is really hurtful. I don't, I don't agree. I disagree. I don't have anything else to say. Yeah. I, I will not be. I guess, I guess that's the end of the suitcase. Yeah, it's the end of the suitcase. Take a picture of it. I look at it now, guys. We'll Owen, it. have a look Listen, at it. Listen, 
We will post it on social media. I'm not posting my suitcase. No. My suitcase is cool. We're taking a picture of you and your suitcase standing next to each other. It's cool. And you can tell me what you think. I'm a, it's a cool suitcase. Yeah, it is. What, what, what do your listeners decide? God damn it. It's uh, handy. Of course uh, it's uh, handy. Uh, all right, I'm losing the argument now. It's never good when someone says, hey, your trainers are crap. Oh, they've got cushion on them. Cool. <laughs> I'm already losing the argument. Did you have what? a nice Easter? I love Easter. It's great. I what, love. What did you do? Eat eggs. Do you have eggs in your um, suitcase? The best thing about Easter <laughs> is the day after because you get all the cheap stuff. Oh, yeah. It's man. like Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. I love I love the 15th of Feb. Oh, I'll eat a nice heart-shaped chocolate to myself. <laughs> really? Oh, that's so sad. How is that sad? I love it. I think it's great. Oh, because he it's pulls of... it out of his suitcase. <laughs> one half. Just him uh, on a train with the one half of a hot, heart this, chocolate. This, You're getting slammed today this, for some reason, bro. I... I'm a cool dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cool dude. No, I, yeah. Same with Easter. Easter's great. What kind of Easter eggs do you like? Uh, I like the... Well, Fortnum and Mason do some really good ones. Oh, my God. Isn't he the most bougiest guy you've ever... Fortnum and Mason. I was, I was literally like, Lidl. <laughs> Lidl is like... Fortnum and Mason do the best ones, guys. They do the salted caramel one that is just absolutely... Yeah, oh. I do like a salted cow. Do you like anything inside your egg? Yes. I like that. I like that. I'm a big fan of like, I like uh, little Smarties or something inside. One of the, one of the best common East, Easter eggs I had was the Crunchy one. Crunchy did one. The I crunch, loved that. The crunchy, the chocolate bar. Com, is that common the, Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really are. Fucking hell. You really are. I'm sorry. Is it is the whole egg made out of the crunchy? No, so the egg is just a chocolate bit, but inside they had like little, you know, the crunchy bites. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Dumb. They had that. That was fun. A twirl, always a winner. You know what I've always dreamt of? A solid chocolate egg, but I realise that would be a nightmare. I always think about: can you just fill the whole egg with? Chocolate? But they do small ones like that. Yeah, they're called cream eggs. No, that's not solid. Yeah, they do. They're called lint. Is it lint? Oh, I guess lint do them. They're, they're hollow though, aren't they? Yeah. Are they? They're hollow. Mini eggs are good. I do like mini eggs. I love a list. I love mini <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to List with Shane and Delicious. Why do we do this every episode? Do you know what? What we need to do is print off all the lists we've made. And yeah, send it some, to people. some listener will get... I also think one day we'll, we'll do like drink if you do something on the podcast yeah. that you always do. A bingo card. A bingo card. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, list. Yeah. The, list. And Aaron and Nisha start making a fucking list. L- list will be... Oh, you know what I want? I want to make my own Easter egg. What do you mean? How would you make my own Easter egg? I don't know. I thought somebody would have an idea. <laughs> what about one of those shops where you go in and make your own Easter egg? Can you do that? Is they that... have moulds. So you put, yeah. And then they can... Oh, I want mine to be all white chocolate and caramel and painted. You know, you know, no, Alison Hammond, Birmingham royalty, yep, on Great British Bake Off. We should get her on the podcast, and she can. Yeah, get her to tell us how, to, how she makes Easter eggs. I, as the Birmingham connection here, I will. You got, you got what? every connection. Birmingham black. I watch. Yeah, this WhatsApp group. Bur- yeah, Birmingham, Birmingham, <laughs> Birmingham black WhatsApp group. <laughs> hey, hey, Alison. <laughs> no, not Lenny. All hey, right, Alison. Bab. All right, Bab. Or, oh, yeah, sure. She's the she's the new host, isn't it? Bake Off. Yeah, Alison with is it with Matt Lucas? No Fielding. Oh, with No Fielding. Matt's left. Yeah, Alison Hammond over the last two years turns out the biggest star in the country. She's having a moment. She's really having a moment. A real moment. I mean, ha, but she wasn't the face of Birmingham because she turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> she legitimately turned it down. And I got it. Yeah, and they got you. That's how I got it. Yeah. So maybe now you've got more connections so you can get on the pod. I mean, I'll give her a call and yeah. see what we can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't have a number. I don't have her agent's number. I she seems any... really fun, though, to be fair to her. She does, seem, she does seem quite fun. I always imagine with people like that, that they're really, really fun. But like when you meet them away from the camera. They're, they're all horrible. No, not horrible. Oh. They just want their own space. Yeah, yeah. I always yeah, imagine because yeah. she, she always seems to give a lot. Yes. She gives a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. So I imagine when she's not on the camera, she probably just wants to be like just like yeah. alone, just chilling. What's cool about her is like she's always just... She hasn't really changed. She hasn't changed her look. I also think yeah. one of the reasons she does so well was remember when she was in Big Brother and she mm. got on that table and it broke. Mm. That was her, right? Mm. I think that little things like that really help a celebrity when they because people remember that bit when she well, was, yeah, but they just do normal shit. This is normal shit. She was yeah. She, I think she was dancing on a table and it broke. Maybe you should keep your suitcase then. <laughs> oh, because that would be the comedic thing that people would go. Ha ha! Look yeah. at him. Remember yeah. when he used to walk around? He's a normal guy. This is normal. 
when the fuck did you start hating the suitcase so much? <laughs> Like this is I've been carrying a suitcase since we began the podcast. Yeah. And ever since then Almost you, every week I've said something. Quietly though. Go on, fucking idiot. I'll tell you what we shouldn't be quiet about though. What? Your tour. Shame. That's right. It's delicious. delicious. Shame is Road delicious. Roadman tour. You can see the suitcase then, I guess. Uh, starting <laughs> in September. Please do buy tickets. Come see me live. Do stand-up comedy. I'll also be at the Edinburgh Fringe for the entire run. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, Isha, what about you, bud? Well, I'm on tour. Ishanakbar.com forward slash tour. We're more than halfway through. I've got added dates in Liverpool and London. So get those tickets. Tour's going really well. Four star from the Times. Everyone's loving it. Come. Are you recording a special? I don't like the word special, but yes, I'm recording it. Okay. Well, what do you want to... Are you recording a comedy... Comedy show. Sign up comedy show. Because special to me, I don't... I think that it just... It's not special. Okay, Specials well, aren't special. Hey, great way to sell it. Good job you don't work for QVC. Uh, uh, <laughs> go see Isha on tour, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and people who identify otherwise. Otherwise? Otherwise, otherwise yeah. Shame <laughs> is delicious. Shame is oh, no. delicious. Has that happened yet? Have you heard any comedy club go, like, not say ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Go? What do they say? When I used to do, uh, back in the 99, Tom Webb just started doing that about a year, about two years what ago. What did he do? He'd just say, um, he, he would just not say ladies and gentlemen. I can't remember what he would say. People? It's, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you all for coming, everybody. I hope you all have a People great time. He would just purposely go out of his way to not say ladies and gentlemen anymore. Okay. And I remember watching him, who used to do that. And then he said, yeah, I just wanted everybody to just feel included. Yeah. So I just didn't bother. Okay, because I guess everybody identifies as person. Yeah. Or people. Yeah. So I think you could get away with just saying people. Really. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I remember during my, God, during my last fringe run, which was 2019, I used to say, hello, ladies and gentlemen. And even then I remember thinking, yeah, maybe. I might start saying all the people. Well, so many people. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why I like saying, I uh, using slang, because slang is very uh, gender non-conforming normally. What, like what's like Wagwan. My boy. Ute, my youth. Rude boy is very different. Rude boy is, but it's not because I can mm. call a girl rude boy. Honestly, I quite like lads. Yeah, as a collective term for everybody, I like lads. But I know people think it's like gender specific. I don't think it is. I used to say guys a lot, and I say guys, but I don't think I don't mean men. I mean, hey, hey, guys. Yeah, I got told off for saying guys once. Did you? Yeah, yeah people. Yeah, but I like I like guys, but I don't mean it as. <laughs> but do you? I do indeed. Fair play. Or dudes. You do your thing, Or bruhs. Remember like when everybody say bruh? I just like that. Bruh. bruh. What's up, bruh? I say bro. Ugh. But when I say it, it sounds quite like Matt Hancock saying it. I, I call yeah. everyone mate. And they, it hasn't been pulled up yet. But well, I women call, too. Yeah, anyone. Yeah. 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 I say mate. But now the more, re, more, more recently I've been thinking. That's you think about it, right? Yeah. It's like guys. Say mate and guys. Yeah. yeah. I, I go, eh, maybe. But hey, what are we? <laughs> the woke karate. <laughs> the tofu eating. Wokarati. What? Who are we? Gary Lineker's mates. Uh, who, yeah. Just a bunch of soy boys. Hey, oh, of soy boys. Oh, talk about soy. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of soiled. <laughs> <laughs> I like soy boys quite funny. I never understand any of these phrases, man. It makes no sense. What's what? tofu ever done? I know. I. Also, I don't really like tofu that I much. like tofu. No, I like it in little bits, but I think overall, it, it's definitely not good for you. It's too... It's too... It's just processed. protein. Yeah. It's just protein. It's just processed weird shit. It's not really. It's not man... It's man-made. No, it's not. It's soy from soybean. Yeah. Yeah, but what's in tofu? The tofu I eat so is not... Soybean. No, it's full of weird shit. <laughs> MSG, probably. Oh, yeah. MSG. MSG is great, though. I mean, it is. That headache spice stuff. Oh, I love that. MSG is amazing. Did you know uh, MSG in a war? Uh, was it Chi Was it Chinese? They they didn't kill the troops because they had MSG and they wanted to keep cooking it. I heard that from somewhere. Well, I know the reason why MSG suddenly had a b bad reputation was because in America during the Vietnam War they kept saying that MSG was the thing that was that was it. Vietnam War. Yeah. That's what I'm talking I about. Think that's what you mean. Did yeah. you get the Chinese and the Vietnamese confused? No, 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 I thought it was Chinese, because I always think... So you got of, them confused. No, but when I think of MSG, I you think, think of, of Chinese food. But not the Vietnamese. But food. I don't think of the Vietnamese food. Yeah. Um, God rest them. <laughs> <laughs> Vietnam War! <laughs> I was thinking of the truth. God, God Shout rest. out to all our Vietnamese listeners. 
don't know. I just don't want to lose that Vietnamese fan base. <laughs> or Vietnamese fun base. For VHO, for and yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Fun we we, we heard it. <laughs> but there's no issue there. Should we have a listener shame? <laughs> yeah, let's have a listener yes, shame. Please. Please, Save us from ourselves. Yeah. So once again, Alice isn't here. Um, Boo. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> I've got uh, a listener shame that she sent over to me. So this is from. Uh, well, let's keep her the, the, anonymous. anonymous yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's actually sharing a shame story of somebody else. Ooh, so. what a piece of shit she is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a wonderful shame story of how my friend shit the bed on a first date. Oh, lovely. Yes, she has given permission, so that's oh. fine. But she doesn't want to name her, so she says we will call her Pula for now. Uh, very clever. Yep. I'm thinking her name might be Poonam. Oh. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Pula fancied a guy at uni for months and finally worked up the courage to ask him to go to Frankie and Benny's with her. Nice. He accepted. They share pizza, beer and cake. Pula didn't realise she couldn't eat gluten at this point. It oh. was 2007. Oh, that wasn't a thing then. He invites her back to his shared uni house. Yes. They go to his room. Yes. Have sex. Yes. And drunkenly fall asleep. Brilliant. In the night, her tummy hurts. <laughs> She has no idea where the toilet is, so had to shit in her bin, thinking she would deal with it in the morning. She wakes up in the morning in a small puddle of brown liquid Pula had indeed shat the bed. Yes, she shat the bed. Right. So she shat in a bin. Yeah. And I mean, my main problem here is why are you going Frankie and Benny's? That's a, that's a first I don't one. mind that. Should I tell you what my main problem is? Yeah. Why do people do this when they go, I don't know where the toilet is? I know. They don't just open the door and like, just In a lock. house, how can you not work out where the toilet might be? Also, yeah. How do you go to, how do you go to shit in the bin before you go, let me look for a toilet? Yeah. <laughs> how? I've also got an addendum to this. Oh. The same girl also left a pint of piss on her side table and accidentally drank no. it. In her okay. So she's a mess. She's a, she's a horror show. The girl. She, this is insane. I mean, I bet you though. She sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. She sounds fun. She sounds fun. But she's she's a horror show. Yeah, she's yeah, a yeah. mess. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, she shut <laughs> the bed. The shitting in the bed thing when you're drunk, I think that you can pass. Sounds like someone is Also, shot. if you've got a gluten intolerance, yeah, you don't yeah. realise. Oh, I, I like how you said, yeah, it wasn't around then. The toilets were around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, toilets were around, yeah. So this is the thing. So the actual action of shitting the bed, I don't think is shameful at all. I've never met a girl who's ever made it apparent that they need a shit. At my house. Oh, never. yeah. Yeah, never. They're never. They'll be like, oh, I'm just going to... Yeah, never. And then she'll go to the toilet. You know she took a shit because she's in there for a while. The door is slammed yeah. shut. Yeah. And as soon as I get up, you can see them looking like, oh, no, he's not going to go to the toilet. The now. moment see, I know... Give it 20 more minutes. <laughs> le- the moment I know that a girl's about to have a shit, if, if we're in a hotel or in my house or whatever, is when they turn the TV on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, you want me to watch Bargain Hunt? <laughs> While you go and do a big old poo. I'm like, wow, why have you turned Chris Brown up at 10 p.m.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so that that the action of it, not a problem. This thing that people do, like when they come to our house and like, oh, um, wh- wh- where's your where's your toilet? I can understand maybe why you're asking, but yeah. on the whole, hey. it's upstairs. I've never walked. Although I've got three toilets. I've never walked into someone's house. It depends which side of the estate you're in. I was going to say it's a humble brag and ask. Yeah, I know. I got three actually. I thought one was just like a hole in the floor or something at this no, point. It depends which side of the house you're in. <laughs> wow. And you, you stand on both and shit, huh? Yeah. Impressive. So I've got one toilet for society. Yeah. And two for myself. We got to clip up all of your like Tory sounded. It's not Tory. I mean, it sounds Tory, but it's just it sounds yeah, it's very, practical. It's a, when I say Tory, I, I don't mean like your average Tory. I mean yeah. like Reese Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound, like, you sound like... I've a, got the guest toilet downstairs, which has all the amenities one would expect for members of the public. Yeah. Like friends you sound like you're selling me a place. All of the amenities. It's got a good, good book collection then, Lander, as well. I've never shat that long. All, all short reads. For I've, a, never, I've never been that bored on a shit. I wanted to read. Um, some very good candles. You like candles? I love a candle. Um, and then my other two toilets are, you know, for the family. <laughs> Some reason when you said two toilets, it made me think of an offshoot two chains. <laughs> Imagine two toilets. Two to- <laughs> it's a, Just a flush. 
Oh, he's got a like toilet around his neck. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, in short, you should feel very, very shameful. For what though? For uh, shitting in a bin. No. I think that's the worst part. Shit in the bed is terrible. But that could, that's an accident, gluten-free. I think the idea of going to shit in the bin, that to me is the most shameful part of the entire thing. Because she could have gone to the toilet, shat in the toilet, and still shat the bed. And it's like, ah, gluten, what are you going to do? It's bad. It's embarrassing, sure. But the fact that she, her first thought was, I'm going to shit in the bin. Well, again, this is where I'll give you a bit of leeway. We've already discussed that you haven't worked out where a toilet might be. That's the shameful bit. If we accept that that's happened, Actually, shitting in a bin is a good alternative. Why well, don't you just wake up the person you're with and say, where's the bathroom? No, Owen, because that would, that would make sense. <laughs> no, but then also... Because she has to You want to keep up the illusion after having had yeah, sex yeah, with fair. this person, right? Fair. You've, already, yeah, but you've already smashed. It's not like he's going to lose a boner. Just tell him. Hey, where, where's the toilet? I need to go for a crapper. <laughs> hey, I'm, I've got a lizard bleeding out. <laughs> Have you ever? The kids need to go to the pool immediately. Uh, Wake up, Stephen! Have you ever shat in a receptacle that isn't a commode? No. Hang on, I've took a shit outdoors before, actually, one time. Yeah, but was, was, was it in a receptacle though, or was it just in the in the? No, I was in a field. Yeah, no, I'm I was like fifteen. Oh, okay. I've uh, shat in a black bin bag. No, I've never shat. Oh, I've never shat in a black bin bag. Did you tie it at the end? Oh, but see, even talking about it makes me feel sick. I'm just imagining it going. Genuinely. Do you know why? Why? Curiosity. <laughs> That's, you should be ashamed of yourself. When there was, I shat because there was nowhere else to go when I had diarrhea. You just did it because <laughs> you were. Genuinely. This is why you should watch Marvel films. <laughs> and get yourself a hobby. It was Find stuff to mid-20s do. Mid-twenties summer, right? Mid-twenties summer. <laughs> yeah, I was just a bit bored at home, alone. And I was like, what would it be like to shit in a bag? That is, that's, you should, you, I don't, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> you just shat in, and what do you do with the shit? You know what, sh- there's something, there is something quite, um, Embarrassing, shameful, No, there, there's something quite liberating about feeling the, the pull of the bag when the shit lands <laughs> in it. Because <laughs> I tied it around my legs. <laughs> you tied it around your legs like, a, like some sort of, like a, like like a, a shit skirt, skirt basically. Like, yeah, like a shit skirt. Yeah, shit trousers. It, honestly, it was just curiosity. <laughs> First of all, that... Hey, I just killed some people. Honestly, it's just curiosity. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't work here. It's disgusting. You need... Did you have a girlfriend at the time? Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst thing. That story... We should have just had that. Honestly, I was just curious. And what conclusions did you come to? There's something quite liberating about it, but of course there's some impracticalities around cleaning or whatever. But the actual action of it... And what did you do with the bag of shit? Throw it away. Just put it in, a, what, you put it in the downstairs bin? <laughs> <laughs> you put it in the kitchen bin? Yeah. No, no it was the outside bin. I was going to say bad. that. How long had you been thinking of shitting in a bag? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> that's, that's not a, like a spur of the moment thing. That's like... <laughs> it kind of was. Because I was at home alone. Right, and I watched TV. I had a wank, whatever. Didn't know what to do. And then I was like, "What would it be like to shit in a bag?" And then I was like, "No, you know what? No one's home. Got a black bag. Put some holes in it. Put my legs through it. And just took a shit in the took bag. A shit in the bag. So you had to step out of the bag. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, what I did was I just cut out the bits that were. Stuck I imagine on the you. Front I imagine the bag around your waist looked like Fred Flintstone or something. <laughs> 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 Fair was his I was, bag. It was. It was kind of fun. I mean, we ask people to send in their shame stories, but what's the point? Because you just have, you always seem but to But I'm not it. ashamed of it. I was bored, so I just shit in a carrier bag. <laughs> Black bag, actually. Black bag, oh, sorry, of course. No. Single use. Do you, know, do you know what my thinking was? You want one one's transparent? <laughs> a, B, the reason I chose black bag over a carrier bag because I didn't know if there would be enough distance. Because if I tie the carrier bag around me, it's going to be too small and too close. Oh, you didn't want the shit to go back on your ass, basically. Yeah. You wanted to have a nice little drop. Drop. I like how you thought about it practical. Yeah. As opposed to going to the toilet. Yeah. Well, I've done the toilet. Yeah. We... Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> we all get bored of that. I'll tell you that right now. We all get bored of the toilet sometimes. <laughs> toilet humor. Never tried putting your butt cheeks on the toilet, though. Yeah, I don't. You'd rather shit in a bag. Oh, uh... thank you, Owen. Butt cheeks on the toilet seat. Whoa, what am Public I, a savage? Seat, I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. What am I, a savage? Oh, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll shit in a bag. 
<laughs> this has been the Shameless Delicious podcast. <laughs> Fucking hell. It just gets worse every time. No, it doesn't. Why would you do You were in your mid 20s. Give us a five star review. Uh, like and share. Tell your friends. And also let us know if you've like decided to try something out of curiosity that I think I think we, we're all curious human beings. Curiosity is what built the world. Yeah, please don't try and rustle brand justification of your shitting in a bag. No, I think curiosity helped build the world. Yeah, it did. But... Nappies. I basically made a nappy for myself. You were in your mid-twenties. Yes, so? You were working at a bank. Yes, yeah, so? You had a full-time job. You had a girlfriend. Yes, yeah, so? You were a provider. Yes, yeah, so? Hang on, was you doing comedy then? No. It was before. Then you found, then you scratched that uh, boredom itch with comedy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> From shitting in a bag yeah. to doing stand up. Now just eat now just eat shit in order shot. No, I, just, <laughs> I thought you was gonna say eat shit repeat. But I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize you were eat shit in order shot. shot. Um but yeah, it's it's give us your count. likes, give us your shares, give us your reviews. The five stars particularly help. They really do. Please do share the podcast. Tell all your friends as well. We are working on another live show coming very soon. <laughs> The reason he's laughing is because I, I hadn't actually said that. I just made it up. <laughs> but we are trying. We are sorted out yeah, another live show. We like doing live shows. We just haven't sorted any dates, and this is yeah. the first. But we, are well, we have, shit. but we can't announce one. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna try and do more fun shit at the at these live shows with like, less of the shit, more fun stuff. Yeah, just more. There's a fun stuff. You've, ru you've ruined actual the actual things. Give us ideas for things to do live for me and Darren to do. And you know what Darren's like. He just gets wound up about food. I don't get wound up about anything. So shameful stuff for us to do would be very, very welcome. Well, places people want us to come, they need to tell us. If they want oh, yeah. us to do a live show where they are. Yeah, that's a good point. Wherever you are, let us know. Even if it's just you, like two of you. If you want to do a live show, feel free to, uh, always feel free to message the Shameless Delicious social media accounts, they're 24 hours, so whatever you have. Do send them a message. We He's read them. And Alice is a 24 hour job there. <laughs> Alice at 3 a.m. Uh, yeah, and it, yeah, anywhere, any city, any town that you're from, do let us know because if there's enough support, we will come there. Because at the minute, it's, we're just thinking of London and Birmingham, but we would come to Manchester, we would come to Liverpool, we would come to Scotland, etc. So yeah. do let us know. We would come to uh, Bristol, uh, we would come to Wales. I'm just going to keep naming. Uh, uh, we're doing another list. We would come to Leeds, we would come to Norwich, only joking, not Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe. Uh, but thank you for listening. Bye. Shit in the back. Shame is delicious. delicious. <laughs> Shame is delicious Making bad decisions Shame is delicious